The Rich Rabbit. Richest Athlete 2020 in the World There are many sportsmen in the world, but some sportsmen also become the richest athlete in the world due to their passion and hard work. Many athletes got the title of world's richest athlete over the years. The best thing is, anytime any player can get the highest pay and become the world's richest. Therefore, every year or two, we see different players and athletes becoming the world's richest. Today we will tell you about the world's richest athlete in the year 2020. You may have many names in your mind. Many of you guessed Cristiano Ronaldo right, however, he stands at second. Before we tell you about who stands at first, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to press the bell button. Before any further delay, let's start. The world's richest athlete is actually not from football, but actually from tennis. Yes, you heard right. In the year 2020, we have Roger Federer with a net worth around $450 million. Born on the 8th of August, 1981, he is a Swiss professional tennis player who is ranked world's number four in men's singles tennis by the Association of Tennis Professionals. He has won 20 Grand Slam singles titles, the most in history for a male player, and he has held the world number one spot in the ATP rankings for a record total of 310 weeks, including a record 237 consecutive weeks, and was the year-end number one five times, including four consecutive. Federer, who turned professional in 1998, was continuously ranked in the top 10 from October 2002 to November 2016. Federer has won a record eight Wimbledon men's singles titles, six Australian Open titles, five U.S. Open titles, all consecutive, a record, and one French Open title. He is one of eight men to have achieved a career Grand Slam. Federer has reached a record 31 men's singles Grand Slam finals, including 10 consecutively from the 2005 Wimbledon Championships to the 2007 U.S. Open. Federer has also won a record six ATP Finals titles, 28 ATP Tour Masters 1000 titles, and a record 24 ATP Tour 500 titles. Federer was a member of Switzerland's winning Davis Cup team in 2014. He is also the only player after Jimmy Connors to have won 100 or more career singles titles, as well as to amass 1,200 wins in the Open era. Federer's all-court game and versatile style of play involve exceptional footwork and shot making. Effective both as a baseliner and a volleyer, his apparent effortlessness and efficient movement on the court have made Federer highly popular among tennis fans. He has received the Tour Sportsmanship Award 13 times and been named the ATP Player of the Year and ITF World Champion five times. He has won the Laureus World Sportsman of the Year Award a record five times, including four consecutive awards from 2005 to 2008. He is also the only person to have won the BBC Overseas Sports Personality of the Year Award four times. Federer's success in 2008 was severely hampered by a lingering bout of mononucleosis, which he suffered from during the first half of the year. At the end of the year, he suffered a back injury. In 2008, Federer captured one Grand Slam, a singles title at the US Open over Andy Murray. Nadal in two Grand Slam finals, the French Open and Wimbledon, which was regarded as the best match of tennis history by many, when he was going for six straight wins to break Bjorn Borg's record, defeated Federer. At the Australian Open, Federer lost in the semifinals to eventual winner Djokovic, which ended his record of 10 consecutive finals. He lost twice in Master Series 1000 finals on clay to Nadal at Monte Carlo and Hamburg. Federer captured three titles in 250 level events, at Estoril, Howe, and Basel. At the Olympic Games, Federer and Stan Wawrinka won the gold medal in doubles after beating the Bryan brothers, American team in the semifinals, and the Swedish duo of Simon Aspelin and Thomas Johansson in the final. However, Federer could only reach the corner finals in the singles draw, bowing out to then number eight James Blake, succumbing his number one ranking to Nadal after being at the top for a record 237 consecutive weeks. He ended the year ranked number two. Federer developed back injuries in March and July, and his ranking dropped from number two to number six. The 2013 season was the first since 1999 in which Federer failed to reach a final in the first four months of the year. Federer's first and only title of 2013 came at the Jerry Weber Open, defeating Mikhail Yuzny, where he also played doubles with good friend Tommy Haas. With the victory in Hull, he tied John McEnroe for the third most number of ATP titles won by a male player in the open era. 
Federer, however, was unable to maintain his form into Wimbledon, suffering his worst Grand Slam tournament defeat since 2003 in the second round against Sergei Stokowski. Not only did the loss end Federer's record streak of 36 consecutive quarterfinals at Grand Slam tournaments, it meant he would drop out of the top four for the first time since July 2003. During the summer, he experimented with various different rackets and played the German Open with a blacked-out 98-inch Wilson racket instead of his regular Pro Staff 6.1 90BLX racket with the smaller 90-inch hitting area. He returned to his regular racket for the second half of the season. After Wimbledon, Federer continued to be upset early in tournaments in Hamburg and Gestad because of a serious back injury through October. When he announced that he was parting ways with Paul Anacone, his coach for the last three years, Federer made the final in Basel, succumbing to Juan Martín del Potro in three sets, and indicated it was a mistake to have played certain tournaments while suffering from a back injury. On the 27th of December, 2013, Federer announced that Stefan Edberg was joining his team as co-coach with Severin Luthi. Federer also played at the 2019 Cincinnati Masters and reached the third round where he lost in straight sets to Andrei Rublev. This was his quickest defeat in 16 years, taking just 62 minutes. At the 2019 U.S. Open, he was seeded third. He dropped the first set against both Sumit Nagal and Damir Zumer in the first two rounds, but pulled out convincing straight sets wins over Dan Evans and David Goffin in the third and fourth. In the quarterfinals, he faced Grigor Dimitrov, who was ranked number 78 going into the tournament. Despite taking two sets to one lead, Federer ultimately lost the match in five sets. At the 2019 Shanghai Masters, Federer defeated David Goffin in straight sets to reach the quarterfinal. However, he lost the quarterfinal to Alexander Zverev in three sets. Federer advanced to the Swiss indoors as the two-time defending champion. His first round match against Peter Gajowczyk is remarkable for being the 1500th match of his career. In the final, he defeated Alex de Menard in straight sets for a record-extending 10th Swiss indoors title. Federer then played in the Bjorn Borg group at the 2019 ATP Finals, where in the round robin he lost his opening match to Dominic Thiam in straight sets, but beat Matteo Berrettini and Djokovic, his first win over Djokovic since 2015, in straight sets to qualify for the semifinals. He then lost the semifinal to Stefano Tsitsipas in straight sets. Federer began his 2020 season at the 2020 Australian Open. He reached the semifinals after straight sets wins over Steve Johnson and Philip Krajanovic, a five-set win over John Millman, and a four-set win over Martin Fuksovic. Federer saved seven match points in his five-set quarterfinal win over Tenny Sandgren. Federer then lost his semifinal match to Djokovic in straight sets, having sustained a groin injury earlier in the tournament. In February, Federer underwent arthroscopic surgery for a right knee injury and subsequently withdrew from Dubai Indian Wells, Miami, and the French Open to give time for his knee to recover, announcing that he would return in the grass season. His life is a lesson to never give up on your passion, no matter what. Tell us what part of his life thrilled you the most in the comment section, and who is your favorite athlete? See you soon with another amazing video.